All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the second video for the real-world uh, test of Linux Mint Debian Edition 2014. Um, this is the second one, and I'll have the, all, all the links below in the show notes. What I was doing here, just showing you some of the ways to update your system and or install um, updates. Now, the one thing I noticed here, in about a week's time of testing this, it's not bad and in really outdated uh, laptop which originally had Windows XP on and in, in in terms of performance this is about the same um, I will say this running the uh, screencasting software internally versus using an external camera it really really slowed it down if I did not use the uh, screencasting software it ran actually not bad for a machine that's a 1.4 Pentium M and uh, less than a gigabyte of RAM. Now this is the update manager here. If you ever run, have ever ran Linux Mint before, then you have seen this before. Nothing really unusual here, quite user friendly. So this should be familiar to you. Now as I stated, it's, it's running laggy running the internal screencasting software, but it did not crash. Uh, the only time it froze up, I would say, was um, towards the end this is the package manager here coming up. Uh, it froze towards the end when I was trying to install something from the terminal. That's, that's when it just bogged down and froze. But again, that's due to putting too much uh, pressure, too much load on the processor. Again, without running the screencaster, it ran fine. But overall, <clears throat> excuse me, in about a week's time, I'm, I am very impressed with, with how this actually runs. Now the nice thing about this is this is a semi-rolling release which means you don't have to uh, reinstall the uh, system or there's an update you just install what what Linux Mint calls update packs that are released I think uh, what every six months I'm not sure but this is the mate or mate edition you can also do this in the cinnamon edition I've always liked the mate edition because I've always liked the mint menu there's just something about that all right, this is the software manager here. Again, no surprises in terms of how this looks and feels. Very user friendly. Uh, it doesn't look, uh, this, this could probably use a refresh in terms of how it looks, but it works perfectly fine and it gets the job done. All right, this is where I went to the terminal uh, to install, what was it, Clementine Music Player, very fine music player for Linux. And this is where it kind of froze and bogged down. Uh, once I stopped the video here and uh, stopped the recording, it was fine. But uh, this is how you install uh, a piece of application in the terminal. In, in case you don't know, it's sudo space apt-get space install. Uh, type in what you want to install. In my case, it was uh, Music Player Clementine. All right, so in about a week, this actually runs pretty good in a machine, uh, as I stated, in which a frozen iceberg probably runs a little faster. But this is a real-world test in an XP machine, and not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, if you have a faster processor, say 2.0 and at least a gigabyte of RAM or more, in fact, I did test this in another laptop uh, with two gigabytes of RAM, and it ran really, really nice. And I was booting it off a USB stick. So check this out if you are interested in a semi-rolling release. Performance in this semi-rolling rolling release is actually not bad. All right. <clears throat> well, that's it for this. Uh, let's see. Oh, quick shout out to. Um, Let's see, where's my notes? A quick shout out to Kevin and Frazier. Thank you for your support of Total OS today. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'll have links below in the show notes if you would like to see more content and possibly a daily or nightly sh uh, type of show. Uh, please let me know and support the channel. Thank you so much as always. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.